Hi, this is Matt Rhodes for Matlock Town TV and uh, Derbyshire Media Company, and I'm joined by yet another uh, Matlock Town signing. This time it's Mark Lees. Mark, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, very well. Certainly very busy today, but that's uh, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, you're one of many uh, new signings that have been announced within the past uh, two, to th two to three weeks, Mark. Um, uh, as I ask every new player, um, what what attracted you to Matlock Town, and what how did uh, Paul, uh, sorry how did Paul Phillips sell the club to you? Uh, there were many reasons, really. Um, I, he told me about the ambitions of the club. Uh, it's a club I've played against before, so I know there's like huge potential here. Um, and to be honest, I looked back and looked at you know for a number of seasons now they've not really finished in the top half or not finish near the playoffs. And I thought, a club that's getting four or 500 fans, there's real potential there. Mm. And uh, I've worked with uh, Paul before, worked with him at Ashton United, and he came in briefly when I was at Mosley last year, as did um, Dave Wilde. And they were, just re they were keen for me to come last year, but obviously with what happened with the, you know, the pandemic and the situation we're currently in, um, it didn't seem right at the time. Mm. But speaking to him, uh, since the seasons have finished and stuff, they were really um, positive about me coming down. They told me like the plans and the ambitions for the club, and um, it sounded really promising. Okay, well, was it a tough decision to leave Mosley? It definitely was. Yeah, it's um, it's a brilliant club. Uh, some really good people there. Um, it was a shame, really. I was really enjoying it playing there when um, Dave and Paul were in charge. Um, but obviously, then Paul got a great offer to come to Matlock and um, Dave was also you know tempted as well Dave went as well and the because uh, he said there's huge potential there mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's a really good club Mosley some great people there so it was, it was a difficult decision but ultimately I feel like I've made the right one um, with Matlock I feel like they're a club that really want to go places and I want to be part of it. Yeah, it's um, it, it's a phrase that's been banded around a lot, and I'm sure it still will be for a few more months yet. But it has been uh, unprecedented circumstances. Um, would you say that this has been the toughest season to prepare for? Just because we're still at the moment, we still don't have a concrete starting date for the season. How tough has it been to prepare for this one? Uh, yeah, it's, it's strange, really. Um, even like the, the sessions that have been put on have been brilliant, but at the same time, you, you just it's strange not knowing when, when the first pre-season friendly is going to be, let alone the proper games. Like Obviously, there were some announcements yesterday, so I'm hoping, hopefully, FA come up with some guidelines and clubs can come up with the right thing so we can get a season started. Um, I think you can see from watching the Premier League games on TV, there needs to be fans at football. And obviously, with non-league, there needs to be fans there, not even just from a financial standpoint, but just, just everything, really. You know, The fans make the clubs what they are. Um, but it would be. It has been difficult. Um, I know. Speaking to many lads I played with, everyone has been doing what they can to keep fit. But there's nothing more enjoyable than just a training session or a game, just to um, you know get that fitness and also just to enjoy it. Yeah. Speaking of the training sessions, um, obviously it's still not quite up to normal um, because of uh, obviously the circumstances and social distancing uh, will still need to be met for I presume quite a few more months ahead. Um, what has that been like? How, how different has it been from say a normal training session at this time like two or three years ago? What, what are the differences and has, has it been more challenging with uh, being, having to train under social distancing guidelines? Uh, definitely. I think the, the biggest challenge is probably more for the coaching staff and the manager. Like They're the ones who have to put these sessions on with these guidelines um, in mind. Like Obviously, normally, in a session, you would want to be playing games, You'd want, especially um, with new players coming in. You want to see who can do what, you know, partnerships, who can play with who, and see what people can do. And I think it's quite frustrating, especially more so probably for the management, that they can't really you know, get a good look at things like that. Um, but it's just different. It's like everything, like with most things, if you go to the shop, you've got to queue up. It's just sort of the new normal is the phrase banded around. So with these sessions, it's just sort of something you just have to adapt to and just get used to. Yeah, and just for any Matlock fans um, that are not familiar with yourself, if, uh, if 
uh, you're a bit of a new name to them. Uh, can you just give uh, a bit of a run through as to what they can sort of expect from you on the pitch, where you play, what kind of player are you, and uh, what what what's your strengths on the pitch? Um, I'm a hard working, honest player. I like to think that I'm very committed. You know, I give everything I can on the pitch. I've played probably the the majority of the last few years as a centre midfielder, which I think is what I've been brought in to do. Uh, I like to think I've got good energy levels, try and get around the pitch, break up play, keep things simple. But yeah, most, first and foremost, I'd like to think I'm an honest, hard-working player. And I think most managers I've, I've played for or players I've played with would say that straight away. It's something, I think it's a quality I have. That I say I'm honest, hard-working. I'm quite a fit lad, I like to think anyway. And like I said, let's try and get about the pitch. Yeah, and uh, just um, sort of two sort of final questions, really. Uh, for this coming season ahead, uh, what are you looking to achieve for yourself personally, but also sort of long term with Matlock? Are you looking for this to be, well, hopefully be a long term stay and possibly an opportunity to get a club that's been a bit in a, in a bit of a stalemate for quite a while to actually get them into a higher division? Definitely, yeah. In the past, I've I played in three playoffs. I've I've been in the playoffs all different. I've been beaten in the semi-finals. I've been beaten in the final, and I've also won a playoff final. Mm. Um, so I know how it feels like, and there's there's no better feeling it towards the end of the season to be in the playoffs or in in contention to get promoted. And I think that's what Philo is bringing. Every player he's bringing in has got that same mindset. They want to get promoted. Playoffs is a minimum requirement like I said Paul's done that with Ashton he got to the playoffs with Buxton like he knows what it takes to get there he knows what kind of players what kind of teams he needs to get there um, so for me definitely I want to that's the ambition I think every team goes into a season thinking yeah we want to achieve something but from what I've seen so far the players he's brought in I think there's a real really really good chance that we can definitely achieve something Awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's a good way to end it there. Um, so, Matlock fans will be hearing a lot from uh, new players at the moment, so I'm sure there'll be quite a few more to come after this. But uh, thanks for your time, Mark, because uh, I know I got you on quite short notice. So, uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. No problem. Thank you very much.